Here, the second example. Children enjoy playing. Children have to leave. So where is the repeated subject? Where is the subject, the same subject? Yes, children. Children and children. It's the same subject uh, in both sentences, okay? So what I will do here now? I want to combine two sentences that have the same subject. First, I will erase the period. I don't want the period. I will erase the subject from the second sentence. Then I will put the conjunction but. So here the sentence will be like this. Will be like this. Children. Enjoy playing. Mm -hmm. Do I use comma? No, because they have the same subject, which is children. Children enjoy playing, but uh, have but have to leave. Okay, children enjoy playing, but have to leave. Now, if I put they here, but they have to leave, I will write the comma. But if I do not, so if I start it uh, with a verb, after but, directly I will not what? I will not use the comma. Okay? The next example, Ali and Sammy painted huh, a mural. Ali and Sammy hung it on the wall. We want to use the conjunction and. So where is the repeated subject? Ali and Sammy, Ali and Sammy, excellent. Huh. What I will do, erase the period, erase the Subject from the second sentence, then put and the conjunction, any conjunction that is suitable to the two sentences. So here I will read it as it as this. I will say Ali and Sammy painted a mural and without come without period, without comma, without anything, and hung it a uh, hung it on the wall okay is that clear I hope so here so we have the same subject but if I have the same predicate what I will do so I have two com two sentences that have the same predicate I will see some examples I will show you some examples my my brother was afraid I was afraid so where is the uh, where is the predicate? Yes, excellent. The predicate was afraid. Was afraid. Mm -hmm. So what I will do? Yes, I will erase huh, the first predicate with the period also. Then I will write it. My. My. Brother, uh huh, and I, uh huh. Then what I will do? Is it possible to write was here? Yes, I will change it into where because we are two now. We become two. We're afraid. Okay, so when you want to combine two sentences that have the same predicate, you should be careful because you will do some changes with the verbs. Okay, here, Sarah studied 
hard for the quiz. Maya studied hard for the quiz. So where is the predicate? Studied hard for the quiz. Studied hard for the quiz. Excellent. So what I will do? I will erase the first predicate. Mm -hmm. With also the period. You don't want the period because it's in the middle of the sentence. So what I will write? Sarah and Maya uh -huh. studied hard for the quiz. Okay, for the quiz. So Sarah and Maya studied hard for the quiz. So directly. I will take this subject and this subject, put between them and or or but, okay? According to the meaning of the sentence. Here also what I did, my brother, then I put here and... Instead of the predicate, then I, I put I, then I complete the sentence, okay? Remember, we made the suitable changes, the best changes here. So, was is suitable for one person, for singular, right? So, but when I make the subject plural, my brother and I, I change it into where, okay? Sometimes... I combine two sentences according to the meaning, to the general meaning. So I can make it a sentence, a one, one sentence in my, in my sense, you know. So here, children played football. They were excited. So here, we, I don't have the same predicate. <clears throat> and if you, if you say like here, the ch children played football, were excited. You you see, like, uh, does not make sense, okay? It's not a good sentence. So here, how what I will do, I will change some words to make it um, meaningful. Here we have children played football excitedly. So I, how what I do? I turn or I replace them. The adjective of an with an adverb. So excited becomes excitedly. So children played football excitedly. Or I can say Mom cook food. She was happy. You can say Mom cook food happily. Can you see how? Sometimes I can replace the adverb huh, instead of the whole sentence. And this makes sense. Here, sometimes I can replace the pronoun with the noun that, that is already, already, it, it already means. Here, the mural had horses on it. So this is the mural, it's a painting like on the wall, drawing on the wall, like, like most times it's big. The mural was painted on the wall. So on it, what is it? it? The wall, right? So the mural painted on the wall had horses on it. The mural painted on the wall had horses on it so i ha i hope that this is clear for you